then we discussed about just a minute then we discussed that how we can check the live internet users which are currently live with us how many websites are there how many tweets today so all these things we discussed using this website we discussed about the internet activities we also discussed about the difference between cyberspace and physical space we have seen that in the cyberspace there is no boundary and this is completely dynamic field there is no fixed shape so we discussed that we also discussed the challenges in the cyberspace and we have seen that we are going to discuss about the cyber attacks in the coming lectures about the cyber crime in the coming lecture also the reporting mechanism for cyber crime that we are going to discuss a way to fill the gap uh, which is there for the skilled professional and lack of awareness about the cyber hygiene so these are the challenges which we have seen and we have uh, introduced little bit about the cyber security that it is a technique which is used to protect the integrity of the networks and also it is aiming to uh, protect the data from unauthorized access or modifying it or destroying the sensitive data of the personal or the organization so now we are starting with the lecture 2 from today so in this lecture we are going to discuss about the people process and technology i'm not sure that we have discussed these points or not in the previous lecture so the points which we are discussing is that people as we so we are very important pillar when we talk about a cyber security because when we say that the organization needs to be secure the important pillar is people we need to secure people first we need to first make sure that people understand how to use the processes what are the ways to use the processes in a secure manner what are the ways to use the technological settings what is the governance what are the policies of the organization let's say the policy of the organization for the password there are lot of other things which are related to the technology so if people are aware about such things and if people are aware about the number 2 which is the processes what kind of processes when to download from where to download what kind of things i can perform how to make my a uh, social media account safe let's say if you are using whatsapp so whatsapp can be opened in the web also or it can be opened in the mobile also so desktop version is also available which we can open so if you are aware about the processes which are there for the technology it is very easy for you to maintain so that's why it is called as ppt model in which the security is relying upon these three important areas which is people process and the technology so whenever you are working on any technology whenever you are using any application please make sure that you are going through all the security settings for that application or you are going through with all the processes and then you are going to proceed with that even if when you are downloading anything i recommend you to download from the safe sources now what is the meaning of safe sources we everybody is using mobiles so when we are using mobile we have option like if we are using android mobile it it is recommended that we should use google play store for downloading this stuff it is not recommended that you are going and searching in this search engines and then whatever link you are getting you are downloading this stuff so that is not recommended for a safety reason and if you are using ios mobile you should use the apple play store for downloading the software so if you are going to maintain these small small habits it will be easy for us to implement the security things right so it is important to understand that the processes the technology and the people are the strong pillar for providing the security and this change the day okay so till now we discussed about security we discussed about cyber space so now the question is what is the need of cyber security as we discussed that because the challenges are there 
we need to have certain measures through which we can overcome those challenges or we can address those challenges so the data protection and security is the main requirement of providing the security to the data because as i've given the example that in the cyber space we are known by the digital identities if our digital identities is lost we are not able to access the data or if someone else is having let's say if i'm able to access tarik sir's account right so i can send a mail from his account so whosoever is receiver that receiver is thinking that the mail is coming from tarik sir so that data which i have that is not protected now and i can access that account so that's why we need a data protection and security mechanism so that we can save our details which we have now that can be sensitive information that can be very very personal information or that can be confidential information to certain organization then we need to protect our systems from the cyber attack because we know that nowadays the attacks are such that that complete system can be shut down also they can completely hamper the day to day operations of any organization so it is important to protect the organizational data from the cyber attacks so these are the few points which i have mentioned over here but there are n number of points because of which every organization is now looking for security professionals those who are skilled those who can understand that how attacker is able to gain access into the network what are the ways how attacker is able to penetrate to the application so lot of things are there where companies are looking for skilled professionals the third point which i have added over here is beyond that is bring your own device nowadays when we are working from home so everybody is using their own personal devices for connecting to the organization now what is happening is when you are connecting with your own device with the organization network you are not sure or organization is not sure about the security aspects of your device your device is fulfilling the security policy or not that is not clear because this device is not trusted is you have a updated antivirus licensed of antivirus you are not sure organization is also not sure but then also you are connected because we have to work in the wfh environment so isliye it is important to have a security measures for such devices also we need to have certain measures when now everything is shifted to cloud so there are a lot of services in the cloud where we can only allow the trusted devices to be entering into the organization so that's why it is also required to have a security practices enabled now the cost of cyber risk as i told you that if let's say a organization is working let's say we everybody is uh, buying from amazon right so amazon is always having a very big sell that is known as black friday sale right so jab black friday sale hai us din maan lijiye amazon website is down the customers are ready to buy the customers are eagerly waiting for this sell but when they want to access this sell that time this amazon application is not working it is sending denial of service message the server is not responding you are not able to access the website so i am very sure that you can understand the loss not in terms of cost not in terms of benefits but in terms of the reputation also in the market that amazon site is down for let's say 1 minute that is also a question of reputation that how your site is down when you have a big sale so companies are don't want these kind of cost or risk because the customer will lose the trust on the amazon particular e-commerce application so that's why it is important to understand that this cyber security measures are required to overcome from these kind of uh, risks which are there in the cyber environment so that's why we need a cyber security measures strong cyber security measures and i'm again telling you that ppt is the base these are the strong pillars for implementing the cyber security people process and technology these are also known as data and it where we are concerning more about the governance compliance data and processes the processes which we are using 
to apply data and people we need to train people also when we are expecting them to be good in the security majors so as in these uh, this internship uh, duration we are discussing about the security majors so these kind of trainings are also required to the people those who are working on different processes so that's how this is important to have a security so if you see this particular cartoon i have added it intentionally so let's say if someone is saying this house is built with unbreakable locks doors windows and walls means you have a strong security majors everything is very very strong because you have a unbre unbreakable locks unbreakable doors unbreakable windows and walls so how did the criminal get in now what this person is saying as i told you that if we are giving a password to the attacker even though you have a strong security majors that attacker is easily able to enter into your account so this is what happened in this cartoon also he ring the doorbell and i opened the door he have given the easily the password to that person and it was easy for him to come and access your data so please remember that it is not always possible that you have a strong major and nobody is going to enter into your account or your organizational network it depends upon the personal security also or how attentive you are in this area okay so i have added few more points also that cyber attacks affect all the people that we know and the fast changes in technology will cause a boom in cyber attacks now what it means is that we have technology on which we are working right now so as you see that when the lockdown was called last year the very next day the organization started working online without losing any data without losing anything but they shifted all the it companies even the education sector shifted uh, quickly to the online mode so the fast change in the technology is basically causing the boom and because of that when they are shifting uh, you can say that quickly to this particular area so maybe whatever changes we are doing maybe we are not uh, giving the uh, you can say that reasonable amount of time to see that all the changes which we are doing are up to the security majors or not and these kind of changes which fastly we are changing the technologies changing the technologies will always cause a boom in the cyber attacks because attackers are looking for the loopholes let's say if this is a box so if you see this box is open from four different areas so first we were having this line we have added new technology we have added new technology we have added new technology so this is how we have created this box now when we are adding new technology we are not taking care of these loopholes which are left behind an attacker is looking for these loopholes only to enter into the network so that's why whenever we are saying that fast changes in technology as we are changing our technology attackers are also changing their strategy to attack the systems let's say in the organization hamare paas mein lakhs of systems are connected or maybe thousands of system if not a big organization a system b system c system d and this is how a lot of systems are there now let's say if system a is not maintaining the security properly what it means is that a systems ports are open a system os is not patched so what can the uh, consequences for this is if any attacker is planning uh, attack or any attacker is planning to enter into this organizational network so with the help of the system because there are a lot of tools and techniques through which you can see that how many system in this network have a open ports through which i can get the entry how many systems are having vulnerabilities so i can get entry from that or that person is sending emails which contain certain links or some softwares which can take the access of the system remotely so if the person is not making the security majors if the persons are not following the policies security policy of the organization as a individual if you are not taking care of such things it is easy for attackers to gain access to your account now this is going to damage to business and loss of jobs what is happening is because the loss of jobs are here so many people are taking the uh, attacking scenario or many people are 
trying to uh, get the benefit from the issues which are there let's say if insider threats are happening where if the employee is not satisfied or if the employee is terminated because of some reason and that employee is having access to certain codes an employee know that we have some default setting also through which anybody can access this code from the outside also and that employee is aware about the default setting of certain passwords which are created for the admin access now because of that employee is losing the job or the jobs are not available that person can do certain things to earn money for his or her living also so these are the also issues which are there for which we require these are not a very bigger issues but these are also the issues which we need to take care that why people are going into this field why we see that every day some news is coming that uh, some people caught in some kind of event some cyber crime mein pakda gaya koi sim ka case hai or some fraud is there for the bank so why they are doing it just to quickly earn the money so these are the thing and they are doing damage to the businesses and also cyber security threats faced by the individual every individual everyone who is attending this session uh, i can say that you have threat to the security and i'm sure that you all are some day victim of uh, some kind of attack but you are not aware of that maybe the laptops or the systems which you are using maybe they used in certain attacks but you are not aware of so lot of things are happening right now but we cannot keep track of everything so what are the elements of cyber security which we are going to study right now so uh, i have taken these uh, elements just to make you aware that what kind of things which are there in the security and what we need to take care so the first element if you see is information security now this information security is a very very broad term in information security every element comes but here i have taken cyber security as a topic that's why i am uh, just taking it as a element but information security is a broader way because this contain any kind of security of the information and it is known as infosec it is known as appsec it is known as netsec this is known as opsec so lot of things are there which are the terms which you see generally in the industries so the first point is information security which contains any kind of data now this can be printed data this can be digital data any kind of information be it in the digital format be it in the printed format that is coming under the information security and this is a broader area if we talk about the cyber security then what does this mean is anything coming under the cyber space which you want to prevent that is coming under the cyber security and information security means a broader area where you can contain everything which relates to the information or data which relates to your organization now when we talk about the application security so whatever applications we use whatever applications we access now for providing the security to those applications we need to check that what kind of measures we can do in the application right so providing the security to the applications because the end user like you me we are using the applications for the accessing the various uh, features which are there various technologies which are there so it is the first point where the user is accessing like right now you are attending this session so i i'm sure that you have opened it using chrome or some other thing so that is a client application you have opened that application the browser is also an application which is sending the data to the server and receiving the information so that's why the application security is the point where the user is accessing and from this particular layer only we are able to access the applications so it is very very important element of the cyber security to make your applications secure if we talk about the network security when we have system a and b they are both connected communicating with each other or sending and receiving data so it is important for network to make this secure otherwise man in the middle attack will happen mimp attacks 
Now, these attacks are able to listen the data which is flowing between the communication channels. So we want our data to be safe. Even if data is flowing means data in transit or data in rest. So these are the two uh, states of the data. Data in rest means your data is stored somewhere, maybe it's in the data center. Or transit means it's right now in the communication channels, it's in the transit coming from A machine to B machine. So we need to have a security measures for our network. We can have firewall settings, antivirus, a lot of things we can do with providing for the network setting. Then we have a disaster recovery plan. Now, what, the, what is the meaning of disaster recovery planning is that any kind of disaster is happening. Now, in that case, you should be ready with the business continuity planning. Now, what is the meaning of that? If any disaster is happening from that disaster, you, uh, you should be able to or your organization should be able to recover from that particular disaster. Whatever data you have, let's say a physical disaster happened, let's say a cyber attack happened, let's say ransomware attack happened. Now from that situation, how you are coming out from that situation, that is a point of question. And is your organization is ready with this plan? So right now disaster recovery as a service is also very, very popular. So as we have infrastructure as a service, now disaster recovery as a service, backup as a service is also available because of the importance of business continuity. Any business running 24 cross 7, 365 days is not able to afford a fraction of seconds downtime. So it is important to have a disaster recovery plan that in case anything happen, the organization is able to recover the important sensitive data and can start the business from where it left. The operational security, whatever operations we are doing, we need to make those object security. Then end user education. So the users which are using these applications, the user which are using the network, they should be or like properly educated enough to understand that what kind of uh, terms and technologies they have to use. So please read all these things about the elements of the cybersecurity because this is very, very important point to understand that what kind of application security or information security is there, why it is important. You should be taking care of that. I will open one website and I will show you that how you can check that your data is breached or not. I hope that you all should be able to uh, know that. I'll just stop presenting it and then I'll reshare it again. I don't know if I've used uh, this website in the last lecture or not. Okay, so everybody, I'm sharing this again, my screen. At any point of time, you have any question, please, you can unmute yourself and you can ask your question to me. So this is the website which you should all go through right now with me because I'm going to ask few questions from you. Yes, so this is the website, please open this website. Everybody, those who are attending this session, and enter your email ID, the email ID which you are generally using for uh, uh, your online applications for purchasing something or for ordering the pizzas. So give your email ID over here, press enter and then see that your data is breached or not. And let me know that how many of you receiving this message, oh no, your data is breached. And let me know that how many breaches you have seen in your data. So I'm seeing right now 20, 19, 20 participants. So I want everybody to be responding to this, that your data is breached or not. In the chat box, you can write or else you can unmute and you can share. Because this is important to know when you want to learn in the security that what is happening to your account, your own account, that needs to be checked. If you are using mobile, you can check this website in the mobile also. 
So please let me know that how many of you are seeing this message. Oh no, your data is breached. How many of you are getting this message? I'm waiting for your response. Okay. Tariq, sir, eight data breaches. <laughs> Please immediately change your password, sir. Yes. Any other student check that? I'm sure that many of you have uh, seen such breaches like Big Basket Breach, Domino's Breach, Nitro I've used, Zomato Breach in 2017. This is the recent attack, which is Domino's Wala. 13 terabytes of compromised Domino's India appeared for sale on a hacking forum after which the company acknowledged a major data breach. So in the next section, uh, next lecture, I will tell you about the dark web also that what is that and what's happening in that. So these many data is available for sale in the dark web. When the attacker is having access to this particular data, they can plan a lot of uh, attacks or a lot of things to harm these people with the email IDs, names, phone numbers. Not Breeze, Arvind, congratulations, you are safe. So make sure that you are checking the mail ID which you are using for online transactions, for ordering the uh, or pizzas, zomatos, swiggy, or you are using your email ID for e-commerce websites. Okay, so if you are not checking right now, no worries. You can check it and then tomorrow or maybe whenever the lecture will be there for cyber security, we will meet again and let at that time you can share that how many breaches you have seen for your email address. The only solution is to immediately change your password and then after maybe one month or after two months, periodically check that your data is again breached or not. Because if you see after 2017, it was 2019, then it was 2020, then it was 2021. But maybe some other breaches are there which are not uh, reported or maybe there are mix of the breaches. So it's better to have check of your email ID breach in every three months or every four months. So you are safe because you are a student. You have not started, I think, purchasing from your email IDs right now or maybe it's good that you are safe. But then also I recommend you to check it periodically so that even after also uh, you can see that if something is happening to your account, you can make a safety measures by changing your password. It doesn't mean that if your data is breached, it means your email ID is hacked. It doesn't mean that. It just means that the data which you have in the big basket, like email address and password, that is now ready for sale. So it doesn't mean that your data use It can happen that if your data is with attacker, attacker can access your account, can take the information. Maybe it can happen that you don't know, but your account is accessed multiple times. That's why it is recommended to have a MFA enabled. That is multi-factor authentication. So that is the reason why the authentications, the uh, passcodes are coming to the mobiles. When we have that passcode, we are entering from a new location or new device, then only we are able to access the accounts. So it is recommended to have MFA enabled. That also we will see in the coming lectures that how we can enable MFA for our own accounts because in organization it is recommended and every time we see the MFA enabled accounts in which the conditional accesses are there or the users are accessing it with the uh, different devices, hardware devices are also given to the company organizations uh, where the people are working on a very, very sensitive information. So that also we will see in the coming lectures. So this is all for the today which I have. And uh, please let me know when you are coming next time that I can see that three, four uh, participants are saying that uh, their data is not breached. But 
let me know by the all the participants that your data is breached or not right any question if you have anybody please let me know your question if you have anyone if you have any question okay study one more a uh, website which i'm sharing with you right now which is live attack map so these are the attack maps which are there go and after this session or maybe whenever you get a time try to study these uh threat maps what they are showing what kind of things they are telling to us this is just one example but there are some other websites also where you can go and you can check what are the target industries in last day or you can go and you can check the fire eye cyber uh, threat map also this will also give you a different pictures of the attacks so you can see that the top 5 reported industries in past 30 days financial services services consulting telecom manufacturing insurance so you can study these things and you can learn that what is the current state of the world map if you see in terms of the attacks if you see the lines are going from one country to another country so this will give you a picture that it is not only about the individual security but it is the security of the country also so it is important to learn cyber security concepts and to learn that how attacks are happening and how to prevent attacks so i'm sharing these uh, links with you and i'm sure that you are going to spend little time on checking these websites so that you can get the benefit so we will open this also please go through this website and next time when we will meet we will discuss about these things and we will study about dark web and also we will see about mfa also yes so any question if you are not having any question we can uh, call off the day tarik sir yes sir yeah 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 thank you so much tarik sir and all the participants for joining this session hope to see you in the next lecture thank you so much take care bye